Garrett Gravison is an entrepreneur, speaker, co-founder of Addo, and a traveler extraordinaire. Today he's going to share with us the 10 places he thinks we should go in 2015. Welcome, Garrett. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so let's get the, the list started. So you say, the, or the 10th, we're going to work our way down. All so right, number perfect. 10, map and the dart. Absolutely. So the beginning of the year, everyone wants to travel, lose weight, and do something special. Very so true. if we're going to talk about travel, I think the best thing to do is buy a big map, a pack of darts, and literally throw it and see where <laughs> the world wants you to go. So it's the whole idea of serendipity, living life on the edge, and trying yeah. something unique in the new year. And I think literally a map and a dart may be your best bet. Have you done that before? I actually have. Really? I actually have. And were you afraid as you threw that dart that it didn't land on some obscure place? Luckily, it landed in the ocean. So I <laughs> <laughs> thought that meant the Caribbean, and that's where I ended oh, up going. So yes, okay. you've got to be a little flexible when these things happen as well. Absolutely. All right, number nine, O Canada. O Canada, I love this country. It's a wonderful place just north of the United States and so many wonderful things to offer. So Canada is a special place. It uh, may not be one of the things you first think about when it comes to exotic travel, but it's wonderful. <laughs> a wonderful place of wonderful people. We have our exotic areas. Exactly, yes, exactly. Okay, number eight, Harvard, which is Harvard. very close to your heart. I love Harvard. I actually just got in after getting my heart crushed in high school after not. So oh. after a long journey, it just shows that anything's possible. And with uh, the right suit and tie, you could probably sneak in. <laughs> or the right, you know, proper thing like Elle Woods, you could probably be uh, legally blonde So you're as not well. saying to, uh, uh, to actually um, get into Harvard? I don't think you school. need to get in. I just think you need to go and sneak okay. into a class, take a photo, okay. share with your friends that you made it to Harvard whether you actually got in or not. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Seven, Bali. Bali. Very and, exotic. And an exotic, amazing place. Mm. So it's the one area where a lot of peace and a lot of bliss. If Julia Roberts can go there with Eat, Pray, Love, right. so can you. Uh, also, there's an amazing pastor, Pastor Paulus, and a good friend of mine, Kevin Scott, the co-founder of Addo, who's writing a book called The Leper's Lessons that was inspired by his time in mm. Bali. Okay. Number six, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Bring These some are money. are all like beautiful. And a tuxedo, oh, you know. Yes. If, uh, you know, Princess Grace, you know, can go <laughs> there. Um, and it's a wonderful exotic place. It's where the mega yachts park like a Walmart parking lot yes, yes, um, for that. the fancy. So I went one time uh, with just a few dollars in my pocket, brought a tuxedo like I knew what I was doing <laughs> and smiled the entire time. Did you meet James Bond? Or, I wish. Know? I wish I met James Bond. I'd like to be him one day. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. And, and we should say, yeah, you have been to all these I places. I have been to all of amazing. these different spots. All right. Number five, Cuba. Cuba, it's very interesting. Americans are legally allowed to go now through people-to-people -people mm -hmm. programs, right. which is interesting because the rest of the world already sees what a magical, amazing place that we say has been frozen in time for so many years. So you have the classic cars and the cigars. Halle Berry was there filming one of the James Bond movies, right. actually. And uh, it's just an amazing place that's been trapped in history and amazing to go before the embargo um, unlifts probably in the next few years. Mm, okay. Uh, number four, Antarctica. Antarctica. So on my 30th I can't birthday, you've been to Antarctica. I went to Antarctica, wow. and the more interesting part was the only thing I packed was a tuxedo. <laughs> So literally all my photos on the ice I are with all penguins. I would love to travel with you. All penguins. I'm like Anthony <laughs> Bourdain that doesn't eat that well. So I would love uh, to have everyone else experience it. Antarctica is like Alaska meets the middle of Mars on ice only with penguins. And uh, me and my tuxedo with my uh, penguin shot was uh, one of the best photos I've ever taken. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm very excited about this next one. Elf School. On Iceland. Yes. So believe Explain it or that. not, seventy percent of all people in Iceland believe in elves. So there's literally the Elf School of Iceland in Reykjavik, wait, no, the no, capital. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You kind of glossed over that. Okay. So how many percentage of people in Iceland believe in elves? Seventy percent. Seven zero. Seventy percent. You can believe Google it. Elves. And the great thing about Iceland they is they believe the elves exist. Th they believe the elves exist. Okay. And there's an actual Elf School where, in a matter of two days, you can get a certificate in elfing. So imagine so putting you can that. Be an official elf. You can did do you that. become an official elf? I did not. I, oh. you, you get to go, you get to learn about it, but it takes a much longer time to become an elf like, you know, Will Ferrell's movies or something right. like that. So if you plan it right, you can get 22 hours of sunlight and an elf certificate to put at the top of your resume or CV. And did you just bring your tuxedo? And I love the tuxedo. I bring it everywhere <laughs> I go. Absolutely. Most of these places brought the tuxedo indeed. Number two, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, another great place. If you do it the right way, you can enter uh, the sun gate as the sun sets, um, looking over Machu Picchu, one of the most fabulous places on earth. Wow. The funny story about that was after Antarctica, I flew back through Peru, and because the only thing I brought was a tuxedo, 
I ended up hiking the Inca Trail and Machu Picchu in the tuxedo no. as well. True story. <laughs> yes. So we need to see some pictures. We will add photos oh to this conversation. Goodness. It'll be a part of the top ten. Okay. For sure. Number one, if we had a drum roll, but we don't, Cape Town. South Africa. Cape Town, South Africa. Put Africa on your bucket list and 2015 yeah. is the year to do it. Cape Town is one of the safest places and most cosmopolitan city in all of Africa. It has everything you could ever want. It has, for the adventure types, shark cage diving and safaris. It has wonderful wine vineyards and amazing history. It's where both Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela went. And if you really enjoy serving and giving back, which it's Addo, mm -hmm. it's a big part of our leadership. You have a chance to go into the townships with people that live off a dollar a day and really see what life is really about and help give back um, in many meaningful ways. So yeah. put Africa at the top of the bucket list for 2015 yes. and hopefully check out those top 10 for an amazing year ahead. I would agree with Africa. I've told many people I've been to Africa once and I've always said, yeah, that's definitely a place you have to go that's for right. sure. No matter what country it is, it's, it's a good place to 100%. go. Thank you so much, Garrett. This yes. is fun. It was really uh, next fun. Next time I'm going to expect the tuxedo. A tuxedo, so, so maps and some and darts the, the elf and an elf certificate. certificate. We'll add some photos to the top next 10 Next time, list. come prepared. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.